Hey there, it's Sarah, author, speaker, and advocate for sustainable healing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, it's so good to have you. I hope you find the information and resources useful. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, thank you so much for your continued support. Please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already so that you never miss a weekly update. So this week, let's talk a little bit more about malignant narcissists. Malignants are considered the most dangerous kind, primarily because they possess traits evident in the other three subtypes. They are both good looking and intelligent like the somatic, and like the covert or communal narc, they're able to draw others in and tend to have loyal followers. A historic example of a malignant narcissist would be Adolf Hitler, who used his charm and charisma to brainwash the masses. Malignant narcissists tend to hold high paying important positions in their careers, as well as in other areas of their life. They may be a decision maker in community activities or in other positions that help them to exercise their power. The malignant narcissist will also do anything and everything in his power to maintain this control over others, including uh, tactics such as fear, manipulation, and financial control. Malignant narcissists are incapable of feeling any empathy towards other people. And some of the uh, neurobiological impairment that's evident in malignants um, is also evident in many other disorders. They see relationships with people the same as they view relationships with anything else in their environment, very black and white. Individuals and things are either good or bad, intelligent or ignorant, uh, beneficial or detrimental. There is no room for gray area in the malignant's life. Therefore, this narcissist will just as soon discard a meaningful long-term relationship as they do that's, um, discard something that's broken around their home. Both are sharing their space simply to serve, and once one cannot any, uh, serve any longer, then they are deemed worthless. But malignants don't just discard their victims. They utilize their pathological traits to the fullest extent before letting go. Malignant narcissism is also characterized as a deadly combination of aggression, antisocial behavior, and suspiciousness while uh, presenting as in need of others' approval. Therefore, these individuals lie with the capability of a seasoned actor. When presented with evidence to the contrary, no matter how clear and convincing it may be, they are likely to challenge it rather than accept it. If its irrefutability is so profound that the challenge is sure to lose, the narcissist will quickly change the subject, leading a victim in a mind-numbing dance around it. A covert, overt, and communal narcissist all in one, malignants are difficult to spot and even more difficult to release oneself from. Victims live in fear but are unable to break free. Keeping an eye out for red flags early on may prevent the detrimental effects of engaging with this type of narcissist. Knowledge is power. I hope this was useful. Um, again, please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you again very soon.